Monique, and good morning again, everyone. There's still no sign of a man in his 50s who was thrown overboard during a fishing boat accident in Sydney last night. The man, his two sons and another man were returning home from a fishing trip at Botany Bay when their vessel struck a large mooring buoy. The older man was thrown into the water upon impact. A large-scale search was carried out throughout the night and will continue today. The man's two sons were treated for minor injuries. Emergency crews in Melbourne say it's a miracle no one was hurt when a car smashed through the front wall of a house last night. The driver clipped another vehicle and lost control, swerving nearly 100 metres through the front yard. We're very fortunate here that we didn't have any occupants of the house or any people walking in the area. Two people in the car were taken to hospital with minor injuries. Rescue crews spent the night patching up the home with tarps and beams. Australian swimmer Nick Darcy is preparing to come face to face with fellow swimmer Simon Cowley once again, forced to return to court over an assault on the swimmer three years ago. Darcy will appear in a Sydney court tomorrow to defend civil action for damages and injuries stemming from the assault at a bar in 2008. For the first time, some of Australia's leading swimmers, including Eamon Sullivan, who witnessed the attack, have been subpoenaed to give their version of the events. A promising rugby league player has been charged after a drunken night out at a Sydney hotel. It's alleged Sharks player Albert Kelly caused a scene as he was being escorted from the bar at Northies on Friday night. Police say he pushed over chairs and shoved a security guard in the chest. He's been charged with a string of offences to face court in August. A Peruvian zoo has showed off its latest attraction for the first time. Twin jaguar cubs have thrilled hundreds of visitors in their debut public appearance. One played happily with its mother while the other was off exploring its new surroundings. Officials say they are still deciding on names for the cubs but hope the twins will boost the zoo's breeding program. Sport now and Bernard Tomic has caused a huge upset downing Robin Soderling in straight sets to advance at Wimbledon. Tomic had Soderling under pressure from the opening game and didn't relent, bundling the fifth seed out of the championships. Roger Federer, Novak Djokovic and Rafael Nadal also moved into the fourth round, while in the ladies draw Maria Sharapova eased past Clara Zakopalova, 